out his rifle last. Three zero two eight. Three zero two eight. Did you do that? The range is clear. Pick a set. All right. So I'm editing an episode about some 45 Colt revolvers that I've been using. And stay tuned, that episode is coming soon. But while I was editing that, I came across this short clip that I had to share with y'all. Because it's a good lesson about paying attention in class. Or in this case, when the stage instructions are read. Okay, be sure to pay attention. So. You know that prior to every stage, there are instructions given on how that particular stage is to be shot. I've shown that part of cowboy action shooting on several episodes, so hopefully you're familiar with it. Because when I'm filming on a specific topic, in this case it was about shooting 45 Colt revolvers in the sport, I don't always film the instructional portion of a stage. But this one is pretty simple. It's basically what I'd call a double end tap Nevada sweep on both rifle and pistol targets. And what I mean by that is you start on either end with a double tap, then sweep across, double tap the other end, sweep back, double tapping the target you started on. It's a simple 10 shot pattern on four targets. On this stage, the firearms can be shot in any order as long as the rifle isn't last. And those instructions are pretty common up here in Washington. It's not necessarily that way everywhere, but again, up here, it's pretty much so the norm not to end with the rifle. Now, I prefer a true any order on firearms, and that's typically how I write a stage. But the rifle not last instruction came about because not all timers will pick up some of the lighter 38 special loads. I'm not here to make a judgment on heavy loads versus light loads. If y'all don't know my stance on that by now, I'd encourage you to watch more of my videos. So back to today's topic. As a shooter, it's these stage instructions that you really wanna pay attention to. Because while a missed target will give you a five second penalty, failing to follow the stage instructions, what is referred to as a procedural, is a 10 second penalty. You don't want those. So now that we've got the background out of the way, let's take a look at this stage and where I went wrong. Now, normally I would have shot this stage from left to right and ended with my revolvers, but I wanted to get a shot of drawing these guns out of the holster after the beep for the 45 Colt episode I'm working on. So I decided to start with my revolvers and end with my shotgun. Stand by. Okay, so this is where my brain took a right as my body took a left. I'm heading to my rifle, but I think to myself, self, you can absorb all of this movement time by drawing shotgun shells and shoot your shotgun when you get to the next position. Y'all see where this is going, right? So there you have it. That's an easy way to earn a 10 second penalty. And I don't care how long you've been playing this game, it can and will happen to you. But again, this is just a good example of why you should make sure to pay attention in class. And pay attention here because I've got some great stuff coming for you. Maybe not on a weekly basis, as I'm not only going into the busier shooting season, which means more traveling and plenty of yard work to stay on top of when I do return back to the homestead. Yeah, having this bigger yard is nice, but as you can imagine, it also eats up a bigger chunk of my time. And I'm certainly not complaining, just offering up reasons why you might not see me weekly during the next few months. I've also built this stage with the goal there to get back into playing music. I haven't picked up an instrument to seriously play in close to 20 years. But with this stage and this space, 
I have a goal to get as good on six strings as I am with six guns. So add to all of that, keeping up maintenance, cleaning and waxing on all these cars. And you can see I've got a pretty full dance card. But I'm looking forward to sharing all of these adventures in my life with you on the next episode. Hope you all will stay tuned for that. I'm Jed. This is Jedi TV. And I'll see you in some other place in some other time.